after a very long week of work and everything else, um, we are going to go on a dinner date. We have not gone on a dinner date in a long time and it is much needed. So I'm going to get ready with products that I have coupon for or got really cheap um, throughout my coupon journey. Usually we get them free, money makers, or very, very cheap. So first off, I'm going to use this stain mat um, from Rimmel. It's um, a foundation. I already moisturized and all of that good stuff. And this time I am going to just use my clean hands to get it all incorporated and into my skin. I feel like it goes on better and stays on more evenly. Um... Yeah, so every now and again I use a blender, but for the most part I just kind of work, work it in with my hands. And then I go in with this Revlon Candid Glow. Uh, it's a bronzer. I kind of use it as a bronzer. Um, I am by no means no makeup expert, but I kind of just do what I see and what works and what ends up looking decent in the end. But yeah, I just kind of put some bronzer on the top of my forehead underneath my cheekbones and on my jawline and um, on the edge of my nose there and I just incorporate it in and kind of blend it in this is why I like using my hands because I feel like I have more control over it and I use less product so um, any way to save product is always a plus so you don't have to buy so much or try to go find a deal on it uh, yeah, so then I just kind of let that dry up a little bit and then I'll put on some blush this never-ending classic color blush from CoverGirl I feel like I've had it for ages, but I even have the brush still most of the time I lose the brush But there is the blush going on that definitely um, makes it pop a little bit more and brings out your definition well, mine anyway um, I don't wear makeup every day, but I do apply a little bit of um, blush every day, that's for sure. I feel like if I don't have it, then I look pale. And yeah, it's not a good look. I picked up this lip plumper from TJ Maxx. I don't even know the name of it. Um, can't even really see the name on here anyway, but it seems to work. I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions for lip plumpers... <laughs> help a girl out because I need a little help in that area um, yeah so I'm gonna use this setting spray I just kind of picked this up the other day from a friend who does lives and she sells different products and I've never really used setting spray to be honest um, yeah I am by no means an expert in makeup or all the things but um, I just kind of do what I see people do <laughs> oh great don't you hate that when the pencil breaks? And then you gotta try to sharpen it and get it just right. It is so frustrating. Okay. Yeah, I just started using a lip liner uh, not too long ago. My sister put me on it. It does seem to help, like, shape my lips and make them look a little better. I don't know. Um, yeah, so I, I use it. I had got it on a deal and then I just started using it. So I usually, I would give them away all the time. And then I figured, let me keep one and use it. So it's the Rimmel brand. Then I have this CoverGirl eye pencil. And I feel like I've had this thing forever. But um, it's perfect. It has this little angle to it. And it's the right color for me. It's like a dark brown. Um, I use the spoolie from the last mascara that I had to brush it out. I just keep that one instead of buying spoolies. Alright, so I'm going to try to get this right. So I'm really excited to be going out and just to kind of get my mind off of everything. I'm just tired of being run down, tired, and exhausted. So <laughs> this should definitely help. Um get me out there and just enjoy some time with my husband me and my husband have been together for 20 years so um we always try to make time for each other which is really hard with our schedules but i think it's really important to hang out reconnect remain friends 
act like we like each other even sometimes when we don't. So yeah, we're going to go to this place called Morton's. It's in Palm Desert. It's a little out of our price range, but we figured we could treat ourselves to a good steak dinner. So yeah, that's it on the eyebrows. I don't do a whole lot. And then I have this Revlon eyeshadow palette. It just has the three colors that I really like. Um, and then I have this e.l.f. brush that I'm going to use. Not, nothing fancy, just a regular old brush. And I like to start with the light color first and go on my brow bone. This really does make a difference with the eyeshadow. I do enjoy putting eyeshadow on. And then I finally found like the right combination that I feel like works for me. So then I do the uh, light brown right over my lid, right under my brow bone, right there in the middle. And you gotta be careful with this because a little goes a long way and I put way too much on that edge right there. So, <laughs> Part. Okay, being a little dramatic. Nothing a little toilet paper won't fix. I'm just gonna brush that off there. <laughs> Alright, All right. I'm feeling better already. Kind of put the work week behind me, enjoy some of this weekend, and just be glad it's over. And then we have the black. I used to be so scared of using black eyeshadow, but um, I just kind of dust off the excess there. And then I'm not good with the technique on the lid, but I just kind of brush over it. Oh goodness, if you have tips on this, let me know, because I'm always trying to learn. You would think at my age I'd have it down, but I really didn't start wearing makeup until I was maybe high school-ish. And I do this um, patting, dabbing process just to kind of lay it on there, so... It kind of just stays, it seems to stay on a little bit better when I do this. <laughs> I am traveling and I did forget my good eyeliner so I have to use these little cheapies. Ugh. Uh, they do not feel very comfortable going on but I don't even know if any of it actually gets on. But these are my little backup um, <laughs> eyeliners. Ah, Yeah, it'll poke you so you gotta be careful with these things. Um, but if you're a couponer, you know we get a lot of these things for free, plus money makers. They pretty much pay us to take these. And I am old school. I put a little bit on my um, waterline down here. Not all the way in, but just kind of like where the hairs are. Oh gosh, look how funny we look when we're putting eyeliner on. Oh no. So... Yeah, it's a pretty quick makeup routine, but I do feel like I feel better already. Um, makeup can definitely make one feel a lot better. And if you're ever not feeling well, try going and putting on a little bit of makeup if you like makeup. Or like rehydrating your face or whatever makes you feel better. Whatever that is for you, you know? Because not everybody likes makeup, which is fine. Yep, so getting it in there real good. And then I'm going to um, curl my eyelashes with this uh, eyelash curler. I did get this on a deal as well as the Japanese. I think I said that right. Um, yeah, we, we get a lot of those deals. When Rite Aid was the place to get the deals. But it's not that way recently. So I kind of just um, tilt it as I go. And... It gives it a better curl and then this right here is my favorite mascara i swear by this mascara it is cover girl it's in the green tube and it has the best spoolie brush ever i've tried so many different mascaras and none compares i always go back to this one it's never clumpy it doesn't smear it gives a nice curl to it i only have to put on a few applications it lasts me months and months and months, and then I really have to, you know, replace it, so it's nice. So, yeah, just kind of getting all that. Get the bottom lashes. 
really does open up my eyes and makes me look alive. Now onto my hair, I just am um, going to rehydrate it. It's already washed and everything. And I just got my comb here. With curly hair, you really can't use a brush. So um, I'm just going to spray it and then brush it out with the comb. And I do have to do this in sections. Believe it or not, I just discovered um, probably about three years ago that I have curly hair. I thought all this time I had um, just frizzy, unmanageable hair when in actuality it just needed some moisture. And now I'm learning how to moisturize. I'm exploring different products. I haven't quite found the right fit. Either it's too heavy or too light or too greasy. So. Um, it definitely takes some time to find the right product for your curly hair because there are so many different kinds of curly hair. I didn't even know that. There's like 2B, C, D. Oh goodness, it goes on and on. I don't know exactly what mine is. If you know, please let me know. I just know it's like curly wavy. Um, something to that nature. You'll see here. Once I wet it, it starts to curl up more. And then once I put product in it, um, it curls up more and then the process is scrunching it and um, getting it to take shape. So I'm going to go ahead and wet it and put this um, John Frieda spray in it. Um, it's one that I was, I had got on a deal but I don't really like it. It didn't seem to do what I needed it to do. It kind of had a sticky feeling to it um so i'm just kind of using it until i get rid of it but um not not something i would go back and get or even recommend actually so i'm gonna go ahead and speed this up and get through it so i can get you through the through to the good part that's the part where it's all said and done too bad i can't do that in real life though so. I got this spray bottle on the TikTok shop and let me tell you this thing is amazing and it was only like a couple of dollars too and I had got a few of them from Amazon before and those things were like ten dollars each and they are not as good as this one so crazy how that works another thing I learned with curly hair is do not use a regular towel to dry your hair you do need to use a microfiber towel and um, to get the moisture out because regular towels actually cause frizz to the hair and um, it doesn't seem to help with the curl process so I avoid those at all costs now. The things you learn on YouTube. <laughs> Try not to get my makeup all wet here. It's been a while since I actually put heat to my hair. Um, this is my natural hair color, natural hair. Um, I've noticed since I've discovered my curly hair, I don't really need to use heat, heat products um, or heat tools. I actually just do this process to keep it healthier. And I like that I don't have to do that. Every now and again, I do straighten it. Um, or I'll blow dry it out, but that's very rare. Um, I do use a diffuser whenever I need to get it dry quicker. And it does help the curling process too when you do use a diffuser. I'm not going to use it today though. So, it's kind of, I like to do the front of my hair like this so that I can have more control over it. And it gives it a little bit more volume. Yep, so just scrunching away and this is going to help my curl curl up. Then I just let it lay however it wants to lay and then I um, brush it through again in 
however it lays, I brush it that way. And then I'll give it an, an additional scrunch and it will be done. And that usually takes a total of like 10 minutes from start to finish. All right, one final scrunch all the way around and we should be good. I'm going to be letting this air dry and we're all done. Feeling better already and excited to go out. This is the final look. Here we are at Morton's. As you can see, prices are pretty high, but they have a nice variety of food options. And the food was pretty decent. I would say my husband's steak. The one he makes at home is much better, but this was nice. And the bread is to die for. Oh my goodness. And the butter. Mm, so, so, so good. Got me a Pepsi with some cherries. And my husband has his wine. The ambiance was nice. Customer service was great. We love the intimate setting. And we got to even see the cooks prepare our food, which was nice. We got a nice variety of food, some macaroni lobster, some scallops, asparagus, big potato loaded steak. Not as good as we wanted it to be, but everything else was pretty good. It was very nice to get out and unwind and reconnect, and I really hope that you guys take some time to do that for yourself, especially if you work hard and you earn it. Go out there and enjoy yourself. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you on the next one. But the lobster mac and cheese did not disappoint.